Hello and welcome to our How To Electro Series. We're going to be showing you a series of videos from wiring up a plug to testing and inspecting electrical installation. In this video, the first video, we're going to show you how to wire up a plug. So here we have our plug top, our cable and a selection of tools that we're going to use to put the plug onto the cable. Here you can see the three pins with letters L, N and E next to them. These represent where the conductors connect to. So L, not mistaken for live, because in fact, now your young electricians should know it's called line, it's our line conductor. Here, N representing neutral, and E for earth. First of all, is to take our screwdriver and unscrew the screws that hold the plug top together. And now you can see the plug top comes apart. And now we're going to prepare our cable and we're going to strip off the outer sheath. Here I have a knife, very sharp. So very carefully, I'm going to score into the cable nice and gently all the way around, being very careful not put too much pressure on the knife whereby it would slip through the outer sheathing and catch the inner conductors. Once we have scored around our outer sheath of the cable we can gently maneuver the cable around nice and gently not to put in too much strain so you don't want to strain the conductors inside. But as you can see, it's starting to move away. Once it's in that position, we can simply pull the out sheave off. And here we now have our three conductors, line, neutral, and earth. Let's quickly check that we haven't scored the insulation of any of them conductors. With our outer sheave removed, we can then offer up our cable to the plug and then we can see exactly how much cable on the conductor we need to remove. As you see here now, the line conductor, I can mark it and then I can trim it down. Again, offering it back we see our earth conductor, we can find it, the mark and again trim it down. Our neutral conductor which is going to bend round into our new neutral terminal, we can mark and trim down. Once we've trimmed down our conductors we need to remove a small amount of the conductor's insulation. I'm going to do it using the croppers, although many young students now are using this device. But just in case someone's watching this who don't have that tool, I'm going to show them the use of a tool that they may have. So again, we can just circle around our line conductor, put a little bit of pressure and then we just remove the insulation. Again, I'll show you with the earth. And with our neutral. Then we can check that we have stripped off sufficient insulation that will fit into the terminal. Here we can see we've stripped off a little bit too much so we might have to trim that earth conductor down slightly. So 
with the use of a terminal driver, you undo the screws of the terminals very carefully. You don't want the screw to come completely out of the terminal block. Do that for each. There we go. There's our earth done. Now it's ready to insert the cable. But here you go. There's our line conductor in our terminal block. Once we've inserted it, we hold it into place, get our screwdriver, and we tighten. Nice and tight, but not over tightening. There's our line connected. And then simply, you do the same for the earth cable and the same for your neutral. So my earth, notice I'm just giving myself a better chance by pushing the terminal up, slot my earth in. Screwdriver, again, a little bit fiddly. With our neutral conductor, I put a slight bend on it. Again, we've got to a little bit fiddly again, but we need to slot it into its terminal, hold it in position, get our screwdriver, and tighten. Like so. Once all our conductors are in their terminals, let's give a little check. Make sure they're tight, that they're not going to come out. So now, nice and gently, we can form our cable into the plug, like so. Place our core grip back into position, holding it in place, reinserting the second screw, and tighten up like so. Yep, that's nice and tight. All that's left to do now, once we give a final check that everything is as it should be, is put the plug top back together. And tighten up. And there we go, one completed plug top. So thank you very much for that. Please do look at our next video where we'll be doing a light installation operated by a one-way switch. Thanks again, bye-bye.